So we're here with a wonderful group of people that established something for the first time in Las Vegas called Black Girls Code. And the Black Girls Code founder is with us today. So we have Kimberly. Bryant. Danielle Green. Lauren Burke Bennett. And Lisa Mosley. So Kimberly, you're the founder of Black Girls Code. First of all, what is it? Where did it come from? And tell the audience about you. So my name is Kimberly Bryant. I founded Black Girls Code in April 2011. It's an organization that was founded to introduce girls of color to digital technology and computer programming and giving them the skills to become those creators and leaders in the industry. Now what is it that, that you do? I myself am an electrical engineer and I've been in the biotech and pharmaceutical industries for years and years and years but just saw the growth in technology and IT and wanted our girls of color to be able to take advantage of that. Now being that you're an electrical engineer, how many folks like yourself do you normally see in your field? Not only by color, but really through gender. Very few. So in terms of computer science alone, less than about 15, 10% of the industry is female. But for electrical engineers, those numbers are in the single digits. So more like 3 or 2% of women and women of color are actually electrical engineers. So in STEM overall, our numbers are very low. And a lot of the, there are plenty of jobs out in the market. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce estimates there to be 3 million jobs out there that go unfilled, mostly in the science and technology field. How, how will this help in filling some of those jobs? I think when you look at the census data and the shifting demographic patterns, you see that there's a huge shift towards women being the majority of the workforce in the next 10 to 20 years. So it's imperative that we give women, and especially women of color, since the demographics are also becoming more brown, the skills to have, uh, be able to compete for those 21st century jobs as, as the demographic changes shift. And what made you pick Las Vegas, of all places, a, a city known more for gaming versus then its expertise in technology? Well, there's a lot of technology that's intertwined with gaming. So one of our sponsors for the workshop that we had today was actually Bally Technology. So people know Bally's for gaming, but they're one of the leading, the leaders in the industry in terms of technology used in the gaming industry. So. There's technology that touches everything, but the person that really, really motivated me to bring Black Girls Code to Las Vegas was Lauren, and when she teamed up with Lisa, that really brought the idea to fruition here. So, Lauren, how did you get involved with Black Girls Code? Well, basically, my, my background is in uh, executive recruitment and has been in the technical space, so I've been always been a geek. Uh, at heart and have friends in the industry who brought Black Girls Code to my uh, attention. And uh, once I did, with I wanted to mesh what was going on in, in Las Vegas downtown, the rejuvenation of downtown Tony Shea and bringing uh, you know, $350 million downtown, invested in downtown to create this new um, culture and, and foundation for our community. Um, I said, Black Girls Code has got to be part of this. It only makes uh, only makes sense. So um, Danielle and I kind of hashed it out, partnered up with Lisa as well, and, and we rolled it out and said, hey, um, Kimberly, start knocking on her door. <laughs> give us a chance. Give us a chance. We weren't on, on the radar of, uh, of a city to, uh, to start with, but uh, I said, hey, give us a chance. And Danielle, uh, you are a natural stylist. Yes, I am. Notice cur the curly revolution yes. is here. Uh -huh. uh, all th four ladies representing that revolution. <laughs> That's right. So from curls to code. That's right. How did you make that transition? That is. That's right. You know, I, I, my background, of course, is hair. Natural hair is what I'm passionate about. And young girls in the community, they also need education about their hair and how to maintain their hair in the desert, as well as adult women. So I, I'm here to not only represent and support Black Girls Code and Lauren's effort to bring uh, technology downtown and bring the culture, bring it up uh, to downtown. I'm here to represent natural hair also. And look at these ladies. Look at our hair. Beautiful. 
Oh, let me. Oh, <laughs> he got stuck. <laughs> so, so Lisa, you, uh, you being known in the Valley for efforts in politics, and we know there's a lot of technology used in politics. Really, what led you to getting involved with Lauren and Danielle and involved with Black Girls Code? Well, as, as you mentioned, my business is politics, but I, specif I specialize in women in politics, not just politics. So I represent female candidates, I develop female candidates, train female candidates, and I'm called on a lot of the time to go and mentor and speak to young girls about the possibility of a career in politics. So for me, when I found out about Black Girls Code and the effort to get more women of color and girls of color involved, that's also my effort politically, to get more women of color involved in politics because as the numbers are dismal in tech, they're also very dismal in politics. And so it was a natural fit for me when I found out about Black Girls Code to bring something to the girls of color. So that's how I, that's why I got involved. I'm very passionate about that. And I think here in Las Vegas, there's just so much opportunity. Um, STEM is becoming more and more popular in our school system, and there are greater efforts to get women and kids of color, children of color involved in STEM programs, and so it was just a natural fit for me. And I reached out to Kimberly and said, how do we bring this to Las Vegas? And she said, there are already efforts underway, and she introduced me to Lauren, and as she said, the rest is history. So today you had the first uh, event class of Black Girls Code in Las Vegas at the fabulous Innovations Innovation. Center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how, how does this work? Is this usually through partnerships? And how willing are men, and how open are they to opening up the men's club of technology to ladies? I think uh, I would say that. <laughs> well, I mean, I think that we're definitely knocking on that door and and we are seeing some doors and sometimes some cases some windows that are being open for us to bring our program in and really make a, a change in the lives of the girls that we're we're partnering with i think nationwide partnerships with companies such an organization such as innovation center with Bally, um, hopefully future technology companies here in the las vegas area are critical to seeing our programs grow and really flourish. So we want to continue building those partnerships to really build a strong foundation for Black Girls Code. And how many Black Girls Codes, are they chapters or what, what are they called? We are building chapters. Our home base is in San Francisco, in the Bay Area, but we're building chapters in several cities across the United States. And can you tell us some of the cities that you have your eyes on that may be the recipients of the next Black Girls Code? Sure, so we've been in San Francisco, we've done Oakland, we've done Atlanta, we've done Chicago, we're going to Detroit, New York, Los Angeles, St. Louis, Memphis, my hometown, and um, Philadelphia and D.C. So those are some of the ones we have on the radio. And what? how many were just this summer? Just this summer we did, in the Summer of Code program, we had a goal of reaching between 200 and 300 girls in over seven cities across the U.S. in 90 days. So we're halfway done and we've already reached about 250 girls or so. Well, and for the folks who may not know what STEM is, tell them a little bit about that, the STEM initiative. What does STEM mean? So STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. So those are those hardcore science and mathematics subjects that are really the core and basis of most of the future job growth that we're going to see either in the U.S. or the world abroad in future years. So it's critical that not just girls, but kids of color be introduced to those skills and science and math is integral to that study. Um, T is for the technical piece, which is the computer programming and technology piece that probably has the, seen the most growth in the last few years. So that's what our program focuses on. And now that you've had your first event here in Las Vegas, where does Las Vegas go to from here? Uh, we want to start to create after school programs from here, build some relationships with uh, local companies who, and uh, school system uh, that want to get involved um, and create after school programs for these girls, get them exposed. And for those folks who might want to get in contact with you to help give those children that exposure that you guys offer, how do they contact you? They can go to the Black Girls Code uh, website, um, me individually. 
and, and what's the actual address for? Oh, oh www.blackgirlscode.com or they can reach us at feature at Black Girls Code. Okay. Well, ladies, I think it was a great event. Some of you folks, some of you young girls that were participating today, could you just go around them? Rodney, can, just for a minute, can we just, we have a representative from the Innovation Center, Kristen here, who ha they have Kirsten. been, Kirsten, who they have been absolutely wonderful in opening up their doors to us and donating the space and donating the time. So if we could just get Kirsten over here for just a moment to say hello. Thank you so <laughs> You might much. want to ask her question. Yeah. Here, let her there. <laughs> so Kirsten, you're with the Innovation Center? Correct. So tell us a little bit about the Innovation Center and how you got involved with Black Girls Code. Yeah, Lauren actually reached out to me and asked if um, she could use the venue here. We were more than willing to donate the venue. Um, it's a great cause and we're so glad that you guys came out here to Girls Have Fun. Yeah. Yes. Good. <laughs> Yeah, Innovation, it's a co-working space. We're part of SWITCH, the Super NAS, which is actually right down the street at the data center. So, um, yeah. And so how, how does working with organizations like this, this benefit you and your organization? Well, we're trying to help the local community here in Nevada. We want to definitely offer classes for everyone, all different ages, ethnicities. Um, so having this here kind of helps spark that, you know, it helps let them know like, hey, we're here, we want to help, we have a space, we have a venue, we also have the connectivity, being part of Switch. Um, so for like folks that. who may want to learn more about the Innovation Center and how they can get involved, is there a, a email address or webpage? It's actually innovation.com and that's spelled I-N-N-E-V-A-T-I-O-N. -N -E so it's spelled different, so the N E V stands for Nevada. Okay, and is, is there any parting words that you would like to leave the audience with, Kimberly? <laughs> I would just um, say definitely we like to see our program grow here in Las Vegas and elsewhere, and please get your daughters, um, your nieces, um, cousins, folks, the girls that you in your life that really need this type of thing. Introduce them to it and get them involved. Give them the web page uh, one more time www.blackgirlscode.com <laughs>